hello 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 everyone how are you guys welcome back to my beautiful channel divine and gifted i am shay what's up what's up what's up what's up i'm sending so much peace love abundance and prosperity to you guys guess what it is new moon in leo you guys you guys you guys this is so important i ain't take no notes i ain't take nothing listen have your affirmation on your tongue and your will will be done can i say it again hold on because you see that sometimes you gotta close out the distractions okay you hear that as soon as i'm telling you what you need to do the distractions come have your affirmation on your tongue and your will shall be done okay have your affirmation on your tongue and your will shall be done now this is going to be a, a new moon in leo reading okay you guys again have your affirmation on your tongue even if you've already said it even if you already spoke it so what let go of the past and create a new this is a new day a new day to reaffirm to reassure and go after and go get it okay get that white candle light it while you holding it speak over it pray over it aff affirm over it uplift and inspire yourself over it talk to the divine over it, your ancestors your guides your angels speak to the candle i prefer a seven day pillar candle for something like this but do that light it talk to it and sit there and have a glass of wine with it vibe with it pay attention to your thoughts okay um other than that i don't want to hold you guys too long so let's hop right in spirit what messages do you have for the collective working in their highest good for their highest favor asking for messages full of unconditional love light healing clarity truth and understanding also asking for high vibrational messages please and thank you protect our spirit or our space and our frequency spirit deliver any messages directly to me through me to the give to the collective please 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 and thank you i say i say i say protect my aura please now you guys i did a live earlier today and i think i'm gonna do something separate but i just really want you guys to know that your body is under attack okay detox and i'm not talking about Oh, I'm going to do a green diet, detox mentally, detox spiritually, detox physically, financially, emotionally, detox. Okay, okay. I need you guys to get into the energy of not speaking, being more quiet, opening, being open to listening. Oh, that is a very, very clear message. If you are talking, you're going to miss the message. Be open to receiving the divine message from the divine. Um, hold on. This is hot. I would love to keep that window closed, baby. Okay. But anyways, I'm already three minutes in, so let's get to it. Spirit, what messages do you have for this new moon in Leo? Okay. I'm sending so much love and prosperity. I really wanted to get this video out a few days ago, but I kind of been busy. Y'all, I uploaded a whole video and different got to upload the video. Come get her. Okay. So... We 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 just gonna we gonna roll with it, okay? Um. So, spirit, what messages do you have for the collective when it comes to this new moon in Leo? We're gonna start out with a spirit animal oracle message, okay? Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? These are all kind of too big for my hand, so excuse me, y'all. I'm gonna take this one, and it says tiger, okay? It says, I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. The full moon, the new moon in Leo. This is your overall message from spirit. Know your power. Know who you are. And affirm, reassure, and go get what belongs to you. I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. And don't think I did not notice that before I opened up this window, it was quiet. And then when I chose to open up the window, we had the fire, the fire and the sirens in the background. Okay. Take all this. Take it all in. I don't know what that means. Some of you guys, you guys need to spend some time alone in solitude by yourselves. Okay. Um, Spirit will mess it. Where should the where, where should the focus be for the collective? 
where should their focus be for this full moon? Where should the focus be? What am I focused on? Am, am I focused on what I am gaining or losing? Am I fo focused on what I'm gaining or losing? Okay. It says, are you going through some change? Are you scared to let go because of what you might lose? What if you shifted your focus from what you might lose to what you might gain? Endings are actually new beginnings. Before I get into this soul action, what if you shifted your focus from what you might lose to what you might gain? Spirit is asking you to change your perspective on how you're looking at how you're going to be affected by something. Spirit says embrace this change because this change brings good fortune. Okay? Because this is something that you've been asking for. And don't let your ego talk you out of what is coming to you. Endings are actually new beginnings. Today, so action. Today, make a list of all the things you will gain from this change you are going through. Fill your heart, take a breath, and deepen into trust. Amazing things are coming. Spirit is wanting you to write down. Hear the card. Make a list of all the things you will gain from the change you are going through. I might I might be losing my job, my relationship. I might have financial difficulties and struggles. I might have made decisions that I wasn't too proud of. I may have been in certain situations that I wasn't too proud of. But what can I gain out of this? What type of person am I becoming out of this? Who, 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 who am I about to be connected to because of this? What kind of, what, how, how am I going to put myself in a position? Have your affirmation on your tongue and your will will be done. It shall be done. Okay. Spirit is saying, am I focused on what I am losing or gaining? Spirit said, you're focused too much on the lack thereof. And you're not focused enough on the abundance and the prosperity that's about to enter into your life. Because amazing things are coming. Take a breath and deepen into trust. Some of you guys just breathe for 10 seconds and just say, my trust is deepening. I don't care about the sirens in the background that's going off. All this chaos is going on around me. My trust is deepening. Amazing things are coming to me. Have that affirmation on your tongue. My trust is deepening. Amazing things are coming to me. Okay? So, with that being said, let's hop in real quick to some... Um, to some... I wanted to do some full area. Into some moonology cards, okay? Let's hop in real quick to some moonology cards and let's see what's going on with you guys. Expect pow powerful change. Like I said, some of you guys are spending a lot of time in solitude or some of you guys are feeling very alone or outcasted or by yourself. But this is because spirit wants you to listen. Spirit wants you to open your ears, open your heart, open your mind to a lot of things that's about to start changing in your life, okay? Um... Can I get can I get a few cards, please, for the collective for this new moon in Leo? We need guidance. We need clarity. We need understanding. We need foresight. Whatever it is the collective needs at this time, Spirit, please deliver. And then we have it's time to take action. What? I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. Okay? It's time to take action. No more time to play it safe. Okay, it's time to step outside that comfort zone. Okay, have faith. Have faith in your dreams. Hold on, because look, what do I need to release? Work through your fears, even though these didn't come out. They kind of did, but they didn't. Expect powerful, powerful changes here. Step outside of your comfort zone. I, I listen, I can tell you to step outside of your comfort zone all you want, but look, are you willing? Am I willing? You are on the edge of something great. Can you feel it? Yes, there is risk, uncertainty, and imperfections ahead. Failure is certain and vulnerability is re is a requirement. Hey, listen, run it back, Shavanya. Shay, can you run that back, please? Because I clearly did not hear. I'm listening to you, but I'm on my phone. I got my kids in my ear. Run it back. You are on the edge of something great. Can you feel it? Yes, there is risk, uncertainty. And imperfections ahead. Failure is certain. And vulnerability is a requirement. Failure and vulnerability is a requirement in order for you to succeed. You must be brave and trust yourself more than ever before. You will reach the dream, but you must stretch yourself into a whole new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage. 
okay? Today, so action. Be brave. Follow your heart's compass and lift the lid on your own dreams. Today's mantra is it's possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. That's today's mantra. It's possible. It's possible. Say it. It's possible. It's absolutely possible. What do I need to release? This is coming with what thoughts do I need to let? What thoughts do I need to let go of in order for my dreams to succeed? What people do I need to let go of in order for my dreams to succeed? What images, what, 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 what belief systems, what conditions, behaviors, what patterns, what ideas do I need to let go of that I feel forced to accept because of relationships that I have built? What do I need to release in order for my dreams to succeed? And then we have work through your fears. Don't be afraid to let these things go. This past energy that's trying to hold you back, whatever this is, need this be this is something that you have not fully accepted. It's on a subconscious level. Spirit, on a subconscious level. How am I getting in my own way? What am I not aware of? Can you please reveal this to me in the most clearest way as possible? In the way to where I can accept it instead of run away and blame others or myself for how things are unfolding in my life. What do I need to release that's going to connect me to my path, my purpose? Okay? Have faith. That whatever it is that you're asking for, spirit got you. Because you're right there. You're right there. You're right there. This is an encouragement video. Let's be honest. How can I step outside my comfort zone more to create the life in which I deserve? Surrender to creativity and soul's path is right here. And I have not even shuffled these fucking cards. Hello, surrender to silence, needing to listen more, surrender your, uh, surrender your attachment to results. Spirit is basically saying how you thought it was going to happen. You need to let go of everything that you believed about how, what it was going to happen. Don't take no more action towards that. Pause, stop and reflect. And then once you reflect, accept. This is what happened. This is how it happened. This is why it happened. What's the biggest blockage here for the collective? Courage, believing in yourself, obviously these two. Courage and believing in yourself, happiness and judgment. The biggest blockage is, is believing in yourself, having enough strength to move on, having, having enough strength to face the adversities, the challenges, having enough strength to say yes, having enough strength to believe that it's possible. It's easier to believe something isn't happening when it's not happening at the time that you want it to happen, as opposed to staying consistent in your beliefs and, and knowing that it's going to happen. But what happens is I get in my head. I start judging me. I start judging the situation. I start judging people around me. I start looking at things a lot differently. I start um, thinking negatively because it's not happening on my time. It's not happening when I want it. It's not happening how I want it. It's not folded how I want it. It's not attached to who I want it to be attached to. It's not. It's just not. It's not. It's going all against it. So then I start to create judgmental energy around it. I start to look down upon instead of look up to. And this is what's creating my happiness because spirit is saying in order for this to even take off, I need you to be able to shift and change your perspective. I need you to be able to accept that this is not going to happen how I thought it was going to happen. I had this big lavish idea. I had this dream. I had this, this vision of what was going to happen, what was going to look like, what was going to feel like. And I feel like I'm about to receive it. But it's not going to be nothing like I thought because spirit had a plan for you all along, not you. Okay, listen here. Because I'm preaching. I'm preaching. I'm okay with being a preacher today. Okay. I'm okay with being a preacher today. So at the end of the day, spirit is asking you to take action. It's time to take action. It's time for you to start believing in yourself more. Okay. With courage being the overall blockage, let's go back to that courage card. This says, I find the inner strength to face my fear without confidence. And then guess what? What comes with, what comes with, what comes with, what do you need to release? Working through your fears. Spirit is answering this all for you. And spirit is basically saying, face your fears. Don't run away from them. Address them. This is your ego. 
address what you need what needs to be addressed address that elephant in the room i find the inner strength to face my fears with confidence this is believing in myself no matter how many times i feel like i may have let myself down or how many times i've allowed others to let me down no matter how many times i didn't live up to my own expectations i'm still going to believe in myself i'm still going to push past adversities i'm still going to overcome my own beliefs about myself and i know that i can get this done because guess what it's possible okay um and then we have, what did it say at judgment? Lord, y'all don't mind my neighbors if y'all can hear them in the background. It says, I understand that everyone has their own unique challenges and paths. Um, and then it says, I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Even though I'm going to get into this energy of being overly critical on myself and critiquing and judging every fine minute thing that I could have done better or decisions that I could have made better. I have to put myself in a position to say, you know what? I did do that. I did this. I experienced this. I connected to that. I did that. I'm, I allowed this. The X, Y, and Z. Whatever it is for you is going to resonate for everybody. It's about to be thousands of y'all watching this video. Share, like, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Okay? Listen. I'm aware of everything that I just experienced and went through. I'm aware of that. But I choose my own happiness. I choose my own success. What does this say? I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold. I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. I am going to be happy regardless of how this shit is about to turn out. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Some of you guys need to affirm, rest assure yourself that you're on the right path. I'm exactly where I need to be. I'm connected to who I need to be connected to. I'm thinking how I need to think in order for my life to excel and, and, and exceed beyond measure. I'm, I'm on the right path. Don't question the path by saying, am I doing the right thing? No, I'm on the right path. So spirit can automatically align you with the path in which you're supposed to be on. When you question and say, am I on the right path? Spirit feels like, oh, she's not ready. Oh, he's not ready. Okay. Just keep that in the back of your mind. Um, I think I'm about to, I'm about to, wrap, I might be about to wrap this up, okay? Because this is good. This is, this is good right here. Spirit, where, where are they at mentally? What's on their mind? What's on their mind, spirit? What's on the collective mind for this full moon? This full, this new moon, sorry, this new moon in Leo, the Empress. This is just at the bottom of the deck. The Empress. This is. And, and, and none of these cards are in the bottom. Look, and then I turn it over and it's the world here too. This is, this is, this is cycles. This is a new cycle, a new beginning. After you've wrapped up something that was long, heavy, and hard, especially with this six of cups. This is a putting an end to all the past, letting go of everything that's been holding you back mentally, spiritually, physically, emotionally. This is everything, letting everything go with this world card here to begin a new cycle. Okay. With this Empress card here, now is the time for you to really sit and really nurture and talk to and invest and secure yourself within your own foundation and what you've created, okay? Um, this empress, she's sitting pretty. She's sitting pretty. This is in reverse. The Knight of Pentacles. What's on their mind? Okay, some of you guys are attached when it says surrender your attachments to results, some of you guys are so worried about how the outcome is going to be. You guys are too attached to the outcome of the situation. You guys are so focused on how something is not unfolding with this Knight of Pentacles, how something is not unfolding, how it's going to unfold. You're worried about the outcome. You're worried about how much money you're going to make. You're worried about if you're going to be able to do this, this, that, and the third. This is all the things you're worried about with this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Now, let's just stay focused. This is something... With this Knight of Pentacles in reverse, you're attached too much to the outcome with this King of Cups to the devil. You're attached too much to what you want, how you want it to happen. And what Spirit is saying for where your mind is, know who you are with this Empress energy. Know who you are. Know that when I say it, when I speak it, when I want it, when I need it, it's going to be there regardless. And that's what Spirit is basically saying, especially with the star here at the bottom of the deck. You've already manifested this shit. You, you, put, the, you put your wish out there. You've already placed the intention. In the same look at this horn in her hand she's in the water this is the empress baby hey honey 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 the star is right here honey that's not the sun this is the same star can we get it together can we talk about it can we talk about it i've already you've already placed your intention 
You've already made your wishes. You've already made it clear to the divine what it is you want. Now spirit said, allow it. Understand that every attention that you played is right. It's placed right here. We already know. You already know. Spirit says, allow it. And while you're allowing detox, take care of your body. Take care of your mind. Take care of your take care of your energy, your aura. Take care of, of home. Take care of your foundation. Take care of you. Nurture you. Go back and water the seeds. Go back and re and, and, and reinvent. Go back, not even reinvent, but re-speak over the seeds that you planted. Because when you planted them, you probably weren't in the right mental space at the time. So Spirit said, go back over everything that you've recently invested into and, and reaffirm and reassure that everything is already in alignment and it's coming to you and believe it without a shadow of a doubt and understand that you are unstoppable okay with the star here at the bottom of the deck the six of wands this is this is wish fulfillment coming true this is this is this is this right here this is the whatever it is you manifest is about to take off you're gonna be very victorious okay some of you guys could be um in the public eye some of you guys could very much so be in the public eye. Very much so. Especially with that world card there with the Empress. Absolutely. Very much so. Or getting public recognition or people are going to start recognizing and seeing your growth, seeing your pattern, seeing your changes. You get what I'm saying? But the Four of Cups is here. You don't see it. And because you don't see it, it will not manifest how it's supposed to manifest. Because you are blocking your own. You're, you're getting in your own way. Spirit, what do they need to know? Okay. What do they need to know? What do they need to know? What do they need to know about this Leo new moon? What do they need to know? Nope. What's on their mind? I already did the blockages. Let's do the blockages again. I just told you the blockages because you're too attached to the results. So we're not doing that. What don't they see coming? The strength card. You don't even see how powerful you are. With this strength card here. You don't even see that your spirit team behind the scenes is working on freeing you. Working on your freedom. Working on your success. Working on, on, on these power moves that you're about to be doing. They're working behind the scenes with you. You don't see that because you're so caught in the face. You're, you're, look, you're defensive. You're guarded. And spirit says, let your guard down. Because what did I say? What did I say? What did I say? That's not what I said. <laughs> Yes, there is risk, uncertainty, and imperfections ahead. Failure is certain, and vulnerability is a requirement. You must be brave and trust yourself more than ever before. You will reach the dream, but you must stretch yourself into a whole new level of belief and willingness in order to move forward with courage, with courage. And guess what? Courage was the main blockage. Spirit trying to talk to you. You must move forward with courage. Be brave. Follow your heart's compass and lift the lid of your own dreams. Today's mantra is, it's possible. I don't care. I don't care what's going on. Change your perspective, change your energy. And the second that you change your perspective and change your energy, the second that you will see that you are more powerful than you can even imagine. With this strength card here, you are going to be tested. Yes, you are. That's why failure is there. That's why you'll start to see your own imperfections. That's why you won't be sure. That's why you'll be afraid to take risks. But spirit says, overcome these adversities. Overcome. Okay. This is this one, baby. This one good. This one, this one is good. This one is good. Because what else don't you see coming? Because what you don't see coming is you don't see yourself getting caught. Look. Oh. Spirit, give me the cards how I need the cards. Hey, you caught in the net. You caught in the net. They come rescue you from the net. You feel stuck. You feel tired. You feel drained. You feel confused. You feel attacked. You feel like stuff is not working out how you want it to work out. And guess what? Don't worry about it because it's all taken care of. I'm going to free you. I'm going to free you mentally. I'm going to free you physically. I'm going to free, I, but I need you to free yourself. I need you to be able to see the pattern and stop the pattern. I need you to be able to swift, shift and change your perspective because that's what the hangman is for. This hangman is saying, in what areas of your life are you taking the L or do you feel like you're taking the L and how can you change the narrative? How can you change the narrative? And that's where this card comes at, comes from. Am I focused on what I'm losing or gaining? That's where this card comes from. Are you going through some change? Of course you are. Are you scared to let go because of what you might lose? Are you holding on to things because of what you might lose? Are you thinking of things that of, of uh, uh, you can't succeed or you can't do this because of what you might lose? But what about everything that you will gain from this next move, this next step, this next shift that you're about to endure? 
what 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 do they need to know tell the people what they need to know spirit so we can wrap this up okay because i love you guys i love you guys and i know that you guys are about to be on top two of wands what you need to know is it's time to get back it's time to get back to the drawing board look the two of wands with the cherry here at the bottom of the deck spirit is basically saying without a strategy without without planning without the improper planning yes you're going to fail but guess what you see the smoke at the volcano plan ahead plan ahead plan ahead prepare while you're moving forward prepare for the impact because yeah it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a state it's gonna be a bumpy ride but you're gonna make it out on top because you're coming up as a chariot this is your willpower this is you having the fight to having the courage to to to, to push through okay so with that being said look the ten of swords is here meeting you there Meeting you there. This is the Ten of Swords with the Chariot. Spirit is basically saying no matter how tired, how betrayed, no matter how let down, how, how attacked you feel, still move forward. Because this is not going to hold you back. This should be able to exceed, to propel you. Okay? Listen here. I'm about to go. Okay? I'm about to go. Because you're ready for who you're about to become. You're ready for who you are about to become. All you got to do is just manifest that shit. Okay? Let me, let me, let me wrap y'all up. I want to use one of my one of my little new little situations here. Okay, Spirit, what's the best advice for the collective? Thank you. Be nope, I don't want it. Hold on. What's the best advice for the collective? I'm sorry, y'all. I know I wanted it, but hold on. Spirit, what's the best advice for the collective for this new moon energy? Okay. Your family is requiring you is requiring a time to heal issues that you have created a wedge or unrest. We all need support as we move on fo as we move forward. Have an opening, have an opening, having a open, loving family unit is essential. So some of you guys are needing to go back and reconcile some differences within your family. Okay, within your family, your loved ones, your relative spirit is asking you to work on your connections. And this could be reaching out to your ancestors, your guys and your angels, or this could be in the physical reaching out to the people that you love the most, that you feel the most supported by. The people that you might, you might, there might be some disconnect between you and someone and it's time for you to go back and, and fix that. Okay, but best advice for the collective, best advice for the collective spirit. For this new moon in Leo current energy. Give me a good one. Stop being picky. Okay, don't be stop being picky. Come on. Spirit said I gave you the message. Give me one more. Thank you. Past life karma cycles. It says this indicates a past life is the reason why the intense energy surrounds you, the person or the situation. Look into ways to clear past life karma or see the bigger picture of the situation by viewing it from a lesson perspective. Taking ownership for your part and forgiveness are key in releasing past life karma. So a lot of the things that you're holding on to, and this is why Spirit is saying, what do you need to release? You're needing to release these cycles of the past that have became that have became ideas or that have created some type of like I don't want to it's like you're afraid to repeat a cycle but you're ending up repeating the cycle I've said that before but this is basically saying that you have something that you need to work through here and this has a lot to do with family how you were raised how you conditioned so on and so forth with this past life karma here spirit is basically saying you're about to break a major karmic cycle and this cycle that you're about to break is it's not even just for just you. It's for your bloodline. And it's time for you to go through this situation and not allow nothing to hold you back. Breaking free from conditioning and patterns within you that was created during your childhood or um, just as you grew, as you as you got older. Okay. I'm going to leave you guys there. Look, Inflexible was here at the bottom of the deck. Um, you are the person involved are setting their ways that are impeding growth. Be more open to minded. Be more open minded and see the other person's point of viewpoint to expand your perspective in a healthy way. Oftentimes being too rigid masks the problem that causes imbalance and unrest. Flexibility is needed to create flow. Spirit is basically asking you, there is something going on here where it's time for you to be having more enlightened approach and release a lot of things. 
that is no longer serving you. These are things that's not even connected to you. Look at the graves around it, okay? So I'm gonna leave you guys there. I'm sending so much love, peace, and prosperity to you guys. Bye, loves.